So with that whistle, this is the stipulated time for setting up the robots and uh, this is the first match uh, of the pre-quarters and the whistle that you heard was from the darling of the crowd referee, Mr. T.P. Singh. So if you could have a round of applause in the stadium for him as well because uh, he is loved by all unanimously. And uh, after this time of uh, stipulated setting up the robots, I think they will having the heart in their mouths, uh, Sakshay, because uh, both these teams Obviously, all the teams have been, you know, dreaming to be into the finals. But this is an opportunity. This is like the backdoor entry that we were talking about. That if they had missed it by a whisker into the points tally, now is the time. Now is the moment. They have to seal it with both hands and capitalize to the maximum. Look at the faces all around in the stadium here, and tells you the story that you know how much hard work they have put in, and tense moments for both the teams there. Literally, they are cruising onto the edges of their seat. Beautiful designs of these bots, you know, a lot of uh, mechanism, the shooting mechanism, the claws, pneumatics, air pressure, so much of hard work and uh, detailing that meticulous working that goes into the making of a perfect bot. And even after that, you are never really sure that how it's going to pan out. And with that whistle, we are still waiting for the official start of the first pre-quarter match. There you see on your TV screens, both teams uh, still having a little bit of final touch up there, especially the team in blue, uh, not particularly happy with one of the seedlings. Perhaps uh, they want, I think the seedling number six is, is something not in the position. Probably they will have to straighten it or something. Uh, and with that whistle, the match is on its way. And both the teams with their automatic robot already into zone number two, trying to make a maximum of those of the harvest zone and collect maximum balls from there. But mind you, as we have told our viewers before as well, that you can throw only as many balls into zone number three. Only the seedlings that have been planted into zone number one, that is the plantation zone. So far, both teams have put up four plant seedlings into the plantation zone. I beg your pardon here, the seedling in number two and three are about to come as far as Team Blue is concerned. And I think relatively a touch slow as far as Team Blue is concerned. But MIT World Peace University is looking in good rhythm so far. Yes, indeed, MIT is looking in good rhythm. But this has to be a good start for both the teams because we just noticed that the fully automatic robot obviously went into the yellow zone to collect the balls, but the semi-automatic one, which is being manually driven by the students over there, we see that the blue team is working very hard to get all the seedlings planted, and so is the red team, and they've been able to successfully achieve that to plant all the seedlings in the right spots. And we move on now into the second zone, which is the green zone, where we see that the automatic robots are making an effort to pick up the balls and plant them into the third zone, which is the yellow zone. And let's not forget that there's seeders in which the balls have to also go where the teams can score individually extreme amount of numbers which will give them the rise up ahead and that is what is needed right now from the strategy point of view if you look at it the red team is already in the second zone making those efforts to plant the balls into the third zone one minute 21 seconds remaining on the clock over here but the blue team slightly actually is still struggling to figure out their robot in the second zone because something seems to have gotten off with their robot they are still trying to work around that but the advantage right now very clearly stands in favor of the red team who are planting the balls from the second zone to the third zone with ease with their robot doing the magic wonders that is needed in this moment. I really like the rhythm of their autonomous robot. I really like the way it is moving. Very nice rhythm with picking up the alternate colors of the balls. Very clear about it. Almost like it's got the eyes. Struggling a bit, but they, what they've done here is they have achieved something really well. They've put one ball into the silo here.
Yes, they've been able to achieve one ball into the silent over there and one did bounce off that they have made an attempt to but was out but one ball has been able to go inside the silent but now also looking at the way Akshay things are moving right now from here how do you assess the situation is it pro red or do you think it's going pro blue because of the last 10 seconds on the clock now that remain over there well initially after the area one it was going by zone after zone but in the zone number two red team has a little advantage they have picked up 10 balls so far and now you see the time is up only 10 balls were picked up by but as far as Team Blue is concerned, they were not very well consistent as far as the Harvest Zone is concerned. Mind you, you can see on your TV screens, roughly 8 balls are on the field there. And that is the clear difference between World Peace University and LD College of Engineering. I think the Zone 2, Area 2 is the deciding factor as far as this match. There's the pre-quarter match between MIT and LD College of Engineering Pune is concerned. Look at that in the replay, how Team Blue picked up a neatly good work done there by initially as that's we've been talking about that as far as area one the plantation zone is concerned they've been rather at par with each other but it's only in the area number two where they kind of lagged behind from team red which is MIT Pune and that's where they have outdone LD College of Engineering that is right and this indeed turned out to be a very thrilling encounter between two teams for a pre-quarter final match to start off the entire series of these pre-quarter final matches that are now lined up. We are just eagerly awaiting for the referee to come up and give us the results as to which team has won the first pre-quarter final. We'll be joining you very shortly after the result for now. 